I'm joined by one of the petitioners uh, who, uh, and to get a purview of what happened in the Supreme Court. Uh, finally, the Chief Justice of India deciding to uh, elevate it to a five-judge bench. Are you happy with that? Uh, yes, sir, we're very happy with the decision. Uh, the matter will be referred to a five-judge bench and arguments will be taken up post-April 18th. And the fact that it is now going to be live streamed, with, is this something that you all had argued very effectively before the Supreme Court today? We were very happy that the Honourable Court uh, granted that as we feel that this is a very, uh, these are essential things and we feel that it is of essential importance that the entire nation get to view them. So we got a sneak preview of what happened in court today in terms of you saw what uh, the Solicitor General had to say and you all as petitioners. Uh, do you agree with what the Solicitor General is saying that it is ultimately the, the will of the people has to be decided by Parliament and not by, uh, you know, the, uh, through the courts? So with deepest respect, we feel that this is a fundamental rights issue and uh, to protect the fundamental rights and to interpret the law in a manner uh, conversant with the constitution is the purview of the judiciary and that is why we approach the Learned Supreme Court. But there are many, many, many acts, not only Special Marriages Act, but there are many of them which relate to this. You'll have to read down. Is that, you know, really possible? Wouldn't it be better for parliament to have decided on this so we have the firm opinion that as this is an issue of fundamental rights it is the learned court that is the correct forum uh, to grant these so here you have it as she says it is the uh, court uh, to really decide on this matter uh, and not uh, parliament but uh, definitely finally uh, the five judge bench will hear this matter from the 18th and take a uh, decision either way on what exactly is the fundamental right for those who want to have same-sex marriage with camera person Rakesh Sunil Prabhu, NDTV.